Simon. I don't usually take on cases this late, but I suppose I can make an exception for a reasonable price. I'll be right over. So this is what happened. Can you please tell me exactly what happened? I was sitting here writing my term paper that's due tomorrow. I went over to the vending machine to get something to eat, and when I returned here, my notebook vanished. Were your friends with you the whole time? Brandon was helping me write the paper since we're in the same class together, and Jason was just here for moral support. I see. Don't worry. I'm going to find that assignment tonight. After investigating the crime scene, I had two obvious suspects in mind. I was confident that I would have this case solved in no time and I could go back to my comic book. Before I could relax though, I had some potential thieves to question. First, Brandon. It's pretty weird that you're here by yourself. I don't think it's weird. Why aren't you with Emma? I have other classes with other homework assignments that need to get done. Look, if you have something to say, then say it. If you don't, then please leave so I can finish my paper. Alright, I do have a few questions. Once I get my answers, I'll leave you be. So you said you and Emma have this class together, right? And what exactly is this assignment you're working on? We have to write a rhetorical analysis on an article of our choosing. We had three weeks to do it. Do you know when Emma started hers? She didn't start working on it for a while, and I kept bugging her to start it, but she didn't. Very interesting. I'll leave you to your studying. It was clear now that Brandon had no part in this mystery. He was merely helping a friend in need. It was late. I had an exam in the morning, and I was left with one last suspect question. The odds were against me, but I had to solve it. Jason Avery, the moral support of the group. He had no real business to be there that late. But for some reason, it looked like he really wanted to be there. I was going to find out why that was. Did you come here to accuse me of stealing Emma's homework? Because I can save you some time. I didn't. If you had uh, nothing to do with it, you wouldn't mind if I take a look inside your backpack? Knock yourself out. I told you I didn't do it. I just find it interesting that the minute Emma and Brandon walk away, the assignment goes missing. Perhaps you indeed did steal it in order to be her knight in shining armor. Look, I can promise you I had nothing to do with it. Can you please leave me alone? I'm trying to finish a game here. It didn't make sense. My prime suspects weren't actually suspects at all. I thought for sure that Jason was the culprit. I was losing my mind. This case was supposed to be simple. Emma Reed might have to ask for an extension for her paper after all. And suddenly it hit me harder than Hulk punching Thor. The answer was right in front of me all along and I was completely oblivious to it. I knew who did it. I knew who stole that homework assignment.
It's the end of the line, Emma. You're as guilty as a kid with his hands stuck in a cookie jar. You stole the homework assignment. What are you talking about? I can't possibly steal something that was already mine. You didn't want to do that assignment tonight. And you knew if you turned it in, you would have gotten a lower grade. That's preposterous. Threw it away to get an extension from your professor. I'm top of my class. I don't need extensions. Oh, but you did this time. You wait till the last minute to start this assignment. You did that because you hate English. And now in a panic, you threw away the assignment and staged this whole thing. And it would have worked if it hadn't have been for you meddling detective. I just have one question. What? How did you figure out that it was me? I'll admit that you had me fooled for quite some time. You framed your friends perfectly. But after talking to Brandon, I realized it couldn't have been him. And Jason was too busy with his games to involve himself in some petty scheme. I got my biggest clue when Brandon said that you hadn't started your assignment until the last few days. It wasn't until I was back in my own office where I realized I was a victim of procrastination. I also realized that you threw away your assignment and staged this whole thing. So what happens now? I suggest you finish that homework assignment tonight, or else you're going to fail. Have a nice rest of the night.